Swansea Town take the field, ready to accept the challenge of Sunderland. More than 28,500 pack the stands on this cold and frosty afternoon and see the home team kick off. Shortly before the match, gangs of workmen cleared the snow which blanketed the pitch, but it's still hard going, a mixture of ice and mud. The visitors take up the running. On goes the ball to Shackleton, Sunderland's most dangerous forward. His brilliant footwork and persistent attacks give Swansea's defenders a heap of headaches. Another danger man is Chisholm. As he's tackled, he shoots, and it's a goal all the way. Sunderland take the lead in the 24th minute. Sunderland attack again. They seem to have adapted themselves to the bad conditions much better than the Welshman. But Swansea's goalie, Evans, keeps his net free. Sunderland's defenders get set for trouble as their rivals attack. Swansea's Burgess, number six, comes into the picture to lend a hand. And at last, Swansea managed to force a corner. Could be a chance for the Welshman. Jones takes it. Charles tries to head, but the ball's over the bar. Try as they will, Swansea can't alter the 1-0 score by half-time. Then, soon after resumption, Charles shoots at Sunderland's goal, and there's the equaliser. Swansea, playing a lot better than in the first half, set about taking a lead. Moving away upfield, they get the ball to inside left, either Allchurch. Allchurch centres, and Medwin heads it in. 2-1 to Swansea. This could be the turning point. Shackleton has it again, but not for long. And now it's Swansea off once more. Len Allchurch takes over, but his centre gives goalie Fraser little trouble. Sunderland's forward machine swings into another raid and another goal. Aitken shoots. Evans fails to gather it and it's a goal. Rather hard luck on the young goalie. Two all is how it ends. So Swansea and Sunderland will meet again.